I'm chilling, man. Billy was popping, bro. Paisan was popping, Paisan. Uh, let me see this. I need my deep freezer out of the way. Oy. Oh, my Lord. I'm about to start chopping up. I got to chop up that video from yesterday, but I just want to say hi. I never, I never go on. I never go on lives on Instagram ever, bro. <coughs> Bars, what's up? So, yeah, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, bro. Adam Rounds coming. Hey, man. I can't, I can't stop them, bro. Faster, faster than I thought they were going. Hundred percent. Good morning, Buck. Yo, it's so, dude. It's so funny how uh, it has a real sick. It's going good, man. The real sick prep is, is you know, it's uh. You know some unprecedented shit, man. I've never, I've never had so much of, of my material done. I've never had so much my, of my material done <clears throat> in in this short of time. Granted, granted, me and Sick was booked like three weeks ago. I usually try to time it so my first round is being worked on when there's like three weeks left. And then my second round, I'll spend a week on. And then my third round, my my third round, I'll spend the last week on. This is the first battle I've ever prepped for that I can remember at least to where I have two rounds done before, you know, five, four or five days before the battle. You know what I'm saying? So I got mad time. This man, this man will not stop trying to create narratives. It, yo, this is. Honestly, man, like sitting back, sitting back and, and chilling for six months, I feel like opened me up so much as far as uh, like just seeing what it's a uh, like, like what it's about. You know what I mean? So like, it's really funny to sit back because I I said this to Tony Bro yesterday, and I'm I'm chopping up. I'm, I'm gonna start chopping up the video soon. But I said to Tony Bro, I said I feel like. I feel like this is my this is my Mike P versus Daylight moment. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm looking at someone like real sick and he's he's like me, um, less accomplished at, at that time in his career. When I was in my first year, I had two back to back classics. I was super viral, Tink the Demon, Daylight, like all that all that fun shit. But I felt like it was um it was a moment where, you know, when I was battling Daylight, I was wild motivated. Um, any of the promo that Daylight did pissed me off crazy. Like, it lit a fire under me. And I was like, I'm going to be my best. I had a breakout performance and still got beat. Like, still got fucked up because that's how it was supposed to happen. Right? Battle rap is battle rap. Anything can happen. But if you don't, if you don't think that what's supposed to happen is that like real sick he he's highly motivated right this is his this is his lose yourself in the music the moment you own it you, you better never let it go you only get one shot okay he battled chilla jones cool he battled chilla jones on a card no one even knew was was happening right that battle actually was close so it was a back and forth it wasn't like his back was up against the wall he set the tone he went first and he and he and he started off really good so he never felt like his back was up against the wall at, at, at any point. And it was on a card that I don't even... Does anyone know the card that Real Sick and Chilla Jones was on? I, I think it was one of those cards that they didn't, they didn't even announce. Or was it Rookies vs. Vets? Like, so, so, something like that. Um, so, you know, he's motivated, right? This is gonna... This should be the best Real Sick. If it goes the way it's supposed to go on his end, too. This is gonna be the best Real Sick right this is going to be his breakout performance he's been fired for four battles but this is the one where he's like oh shit it's real sick now right and you're still going to lose that that's that's what's supposed to happen that's what's supposed to happen um but it's funny to it's it's funny to 
it's funny to kind of take a step back and see how like we all know like battle rap is WWF, but it's it's funny to actually see it play out. Like the narratives that Sick is trying to paint is so oh my god. Uh yes, Nate, it should be man. 30 B Magic. I mean, yeah, B Magic choked every round, I think. <clears throat> but his real sick's first couple rounds were were good. Were 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 good for sure. Um, but it's funny, man, like, it, it's really funny to see, uh, yeah, Ashley's good, the baby's on the way, it's, it's close, so after this battle, it'll probably be, after this battle, unfortunately, it'll probably be another break, cause after the battle, it'll be like four or five weeks, and then the baby comes, so I'm gonna be chilling, I'm gonna be being a father, so I probably won't wanna write rhymes for a little bit, I mean, uh, like, battle, I write rhymes all the time, but, but battle, um, but like about the the narratives, right? So like every time I've seen real sick, every time I've seen real sick, he's been painting some fucking narrative that like does not apply to me. Like it's just some it's some random it's some random shit. Sheed, it's some random shit. So I swear to God, this this man is on every single shout out to real. Sick. You know what? I can't even die. I, I can't even. This is his moment. He's in a main event. Real sick, you're in a main event, bro. This shit is, you know, this is my fourth main event. But main events are fucking tough. And then also Kings and Queens are moved, so it's a it's a big weekend. So sick is obviously going to do, you know, all the interviews in the world. He's on an interview every single day. Um, but it's really funny to see, like, people like play narratives and how purposely they play it you know what i'm saying like he said on dna's uh i don't watch all of his interviews i watch pieces of it and then the second he says something that's not true which is usually in the first like couple minutes i shut it off i don't watch like all of his interviews i usually turn it on and then it's like the first couple things he says i'm like what and then i'll just shut the 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 camera off but he said in the um in the dna interview he was like he said, uh, he's like, yeah, you know, <clears throat> I'm not even going to try to do his voice because my, my throat hurts. Um, I know it's promo. I know it's promo. It's just funny. It's funny for me as like the more, as the matured artist that I am from before, I can now see it, you know, like I couldn't see it when I was going back with and forth with anybody else. You know what I'm saying? But I see it now and I'm just like, oh, that's cute. But he was like, yeah, he's like, uh, <clears throat> he's like, what really pissed me off was, um, was the fact that they had called him for somebody else. And he said he didn't have enough time to write. So I'll pick real sick, <laughs> like, like painting the narrative, like, like trying to paint the narrative that not only did they offer me someone else first, but and not only did I say no, but I said no because I didn't have enough time for that guy, but I have enough time for real sick, and that's why he's pissed. Uh, it couldn't be any further from the truth. And we booked the battle, like, it's it's it was, what, five weeks in advance, six weeks in advance? So that's more than enough time. Also, if you want to know... I can tell you the person that they asked me for. They wanted me to battle Rum Nitty. Now, what I feel is happening is Sick. Sick said, yo, listen, man, I, I think I'm good at this. Sick said that he finished his material a while back. Sick said that he he all his material is finished. You understand? I think he's trying to paint narratives. Because I'm speaking now, right? I'm I'm back. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm back. And I'm watering down the material that he probably has. So he probably has a round where he's gonna talk about or, or go into an angle about how I picked someone else and or, or, or I picked him because I thought, you know, he'd be easy. He's gonna pretend that he's the warm up rapper, because I think he got that shit in his rhymes. And I think over the course of this next week and a half, a lot of shit that he has, he's going to say is going to be watered the fuck down. Um, so I feel like he has to create these narratives that make no sense. So what happened was, I'll run it back. Oh, and also, just remember, 
when you see real sick in all the lives and he's popping mad shit and he's saying I'm, I'm going to body him and he's and uh, he's going to body me and he's saying I'm I'm this and I'm that just remember how humble as pie he was in my chat when I went live on caffeine after prime time he hopped in my chat and was a little fucking student to the teacher as I as I was as I was kicking game and and I explained the story about how they offered me rum nitty first after I accepted the the real sick battle I I called them and I said ask real sick if he's if he's there for March and yeah he can have his battle and then Beasley said I right, bet I'm gonna call up real sick and then he called me back and was like what about nitty and I was like nah no nitty makes no sense like I, I've been gone for six or seven months I'm not returning to a rum nitty battle especially right uh, especially right now rum nitty's taking everybody and it makes no sense like it it's lost its importance to to battle rum nitty especially like on my return i would love to battle rum nitty in the future and i battled him already i battled him in the quarantine we did like, like a little one rounder but it it never made it, it doesn't make sense to return to rum nitty why is me and rum nitty booked what does that have to do with anything you know what i'm saying when you got somebody over here that's hungry right he's fire right they're comparing him to me Y'all compare, yep. First of all, do you, do you not, how can you compare, do you see, come on real sick, what do you bench, 405 pounds, Jesus Christ, it's like a fucking feather dude, oh 405 pounds, wow, wow you could bench Two Mike P's. Lou, I'm Lou Castro Wild Strong, dog. Come on, man. What are you? I, I'm I'm back to working out too. I'm back. I'm back to working. I'm not Saga. This ain't me. I had titties versus Saga. I had titties versus Saga. All right. Um. Wild, wild, scrolic, <laughs> wild, strong. Um, but yeah, he's painting bullshit narratives. But like, at the end of the day, man, like, narratives don't care. Have you seen the last, you, you guys remember the last two battles I was in? I don't think, I don't care about narratives. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you have to rap. You know what I'm saying? You have to rap. So you can say whatever you want to say. You can fabricate whatever you want to fabricate. You have to rap at the end of the day. I just took one of the biggest angles, right? One of the biggest rounds that an opponent can ever have on an op another person, and I and I heard it from the horse's mouth, and that motherfucker lost. You know, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, you you gotta rap with me, man. And you could paint as many narratives as you want. At the end of the day, no one's gonna remember that while you were on, were on a random interview, you said that. I try, you know, I, I'm taking you as, as a warm up or I, or I took you and not rum nitty because I wanted you to be the easier battle. It's not how it works, buddy. It's not how it works at all. It's not how the game works at all. So it's good to be back in it, but it's funny to see, you know, it's funny to see on him, him go on his, uh, his, um, you know, promo cookie cutter shit you know what i'm saying like uh his little narrative train that he's just riding around you know he's going to to black compass and then three letter man and then you know this and that and this and that and just literally saying anything you're saying saying anything to to one psych his self out and the two, like I said, bro, he said he finished his material early. I think I'm watering the fuck down uh, out of his material already. And that's why he's trying to save face and paint these narratives like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm the, yeah, he took me light. I probably, yeah, he took me light, man. He took me light. When I told him, like, in the chat, I, I broke down exactly why me and him are battling. Me and him are battling because I, you fucking want to battle. <laughs> like, you want to battle, dog. That's That's why, like... See, like, right, I could paint a narrative right now. You want you want me to do what Sick does? Right, I'm going to do what Sick does right now. You begged for this battle. 
Oh shit, record that. Yo, record that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna do this better, we're gonna do this better. Let's paint the narrative. We got, what, 25 people in here? Thank you guys, I'm so famous. <laughs> Let's, all right. Clear the chat. Don't even don't even say anything yet. We're going to paint the narrative, right? I'm going to pretend. I'm going to pretend to paint the narrative. Let's see how far this goes. Even as we're live right now and I'm saying I'm going to do this, watch this work. All right, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Should I smoke we should I smoke first to try to be cool? This is how we paint the narratives, right? So real six last narrative that he painted, he was on DNA's Breakfast with the Champ and he literally said that they offered me a battle rapper, and I said no, because it wasn't enough time to beat him, but it's enough time to beat Real Sick, so give me Real Sick. Obviously not what happened. You've been asking for me, and I said yes, all right? All right, so, all right, we're gonna smoke first, and I'm gonna pretend that we're, we're you know, doing the same thing, talking about Real Sick, and then I'm gonna say, you know, hold on, all right. Shit, man, I'm never, I'm not gonna go do this. I'm not gonna be. I'm the worst. I'm never gonna be able to do this. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah, this shit is crazy, man. Hey, you begged for the battle, bro. You begged for the battle, literally, like calling Beasley and begged for the fucking battle. App, it, it's absolutely fucking crazy. So you paint narratives like. <laughs> Shit! All right, one more time, one more time, one more time. I'm gonna keep smoking, I'm gonna keep getting high. <coughs> All right, <coughs> let's paint the narrative one more time. Hold on. And you begged for the fucking battle. You begged for the fucking battle, bro. Like, how many times did you call Beasley? How many times were you all over? Yo, I really want to battle my P. I really want to battle my P. I want to battle my P. I want to battle my P. You begged for the battle. So how are you painting all these fucking narratives? How are you painting these narratives? Yeah, you know. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, they called him up. To, yeah, they called him up for a battle rapper. And he was like, oh, yeah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah, five weeks isn't enough to beat Rum Nitty. It's enough to beat real sick, though. I'll take real sick. Bro, fucking stop, man. You were begging for the battle. End scene. All right, guys. So if, if you could save that, save it, clip it, tag real sick. I guarantee you, if he's not watching right now, I guarantee you, if anybody was recording that just now, I'm saving this, put it up on Twitter and be like, yo, Mike P says... That real sick back for the battle. I fucking guarantee he'll come back. He'll quote the tweet. He'll do all the shit. Paint narratives. That's it. Complete lie. Complete lie, by the way. Complete lie. Right? I don't think real sick begged for the battle, but that's, that's narratives right there. Since sick does that in real time and actually tries to convince people that his words are, are the fucking truth, I'll fake that my words are the truth and it'll have the same fucking result. <clears throat> Pull off once you think you're gone. We back at it again with the white vans. Damn, Daniel. I'm excited for this battle. I'm excited to to just be back on stage. And everything's fresh, man, as far as, like, uh, the writing process, man. I mean... <coughs> Saga, Ryder, and Bill Collector was fucking grueling, man. Grueling. And, and my ship was fire versus Ryder. My ship versus fire was, was fire, what I remembered, for Bill. But I had some horrible shit in there, man. I had some lazy-ass rhymes in there, bro. I ain't built for that tournament shit. Shout out to Fonz and shout out to Jay and all, all the people that survived. And then all the people that survived into Ultimate Madness too, like... Shout out to y'all, man, but holy fuck. That shit was fucking grueling, bro. I don't care what I was going through during the tournament. That shit had nothing on having to write three rounds in, in, in nine days, ten days, with four days of travel to, to fucking here and back. Like, dude, fuck that, man. Fuck that. That shit is crazy. I'll never... 
looking like Wolverine. Dude, my hair, bro, my hair is crazy. My hair is crazy, and this shit is curled, too. This shit is curly as fuck, so it's not even, my hair is, like, down to here. Like, real shit. My hair, my hair is, like, my hair can go all the way, all the way fucking down. I'm growing my hair out since, like, Jan January, I think. Last January. Crawl before you walk. I was relying on doing a rendition of your second verse, Danny, on you. I mean, dude, it, if, if a person that has fuck all to do with whatever that was is going to do a rendition and the, the person, like I said, and I already heard it from the horse's mouth and he lost, what the fuck is sick? Like, I know what he's going to do. He's going to try to, he's going <clears> to, <throat> he's going to try to talk about how I handled the situation. I know, dude, I know rappers, bro. I know how to get. I know how the game goes. I know what the fuck he's gonna try to do. I tell you one thing, though. That first round crazy. That second round is crazy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. The rounds I got. Oi. Oi. And it's me. It's not just oh I got crazy rounds. Yeah, you got real sick crazy rounds. You got Mike P crazy rounds? I hate that. Oh, yeah, if he could get through these rounds. These rounds is whatever those rounds are. For you, that's your limit. That's what you could do. You maxed out. I don't, I don't, I don't know, bro. Probably like. Six out of ten, if you want to count what the fuck I've done. You, you crazy? You know, you, you know who you promoing with? You know who you painting narratives with? <laughs> you topping a Danny performance? Don't say that. Don't do that. No, no, I'm not. I probably will because I wasn't that good first. <laughs> my first round was in, eh, and my third round was short. That second round, man. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, me. Top tier P. Top tier heads. What up? Promo God. Yes, sir. You are Chill Jones or Rum Nitty for real, for real. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man. I, I, I don't know, man. Any, anything could. I'm, I'm about to be so specific with my battles as far as, um, you want to come outside? All right. As far as who I want, man, I feel like. You, you know, I'm probably going to be battling less, but the battles are going to be more important. Maj and Mike. Facts. Um, so Chilla and Rum Nitty is a possibility, but I can't, I don't know. I, I, it depends. It depends on what happens um, after Real Sick. It depends on how the, the Real Sick battle goes. Uh, but, I mean... If you guys know me for as long as you have, you know, besides the bill collector battle, which is like, I was fucking, <clears throat> dude, I was on the plane home in my head before we even stepped on that stage, man. Like five seconds before they were like, all right, we're live in five, four. I was, I was in the air. I was in the air, headed back to Florida, headed back to my home. So I could just, you know what I'm saying? And I can't do it. Uh, oh my God, man. For my... Pri I pride myself on not forgetting rounds and you know I've never come close to doing anything like that so holy shit when I choked versus Bill I was like that, that shit was a disaster I'm so mad I have that I'm so mad I have that tournament or not I'm, I'm mad I have that obviously if they had you know called me and was like hey you want to battle Bill Collector in 14 days I would have been like no but I tried to test myself, failed the test, but not really. Still did my thing. Thank you, soul brother. I appreciate that. I hate that he keeps trying to compare his third verse Chilla with your second verse Danny. Who? Real sick. I'm over him. I'm over him. I'm over him in everything that he's said so far. This guy has said, dude, there's not one thing that real sick has said that stuck with me. Like, to where he said that and was like, 
Yeah, that that applies to me. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, or like, ah, good one, good one. You know what I mean? That's why I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm probably not gonna promo that that much anymore until until next week because he can't. He's not on my level with this shit, with the promo shit. So hopefully he goes well with the. You know, hopefully the battle goes better. I hope the battle goes better for him because. You know, your promo, there's a difference between having really good promo and you just responding to shit. And you're and, and people are like, oh yeah, this promo's crazy. Yeah, the promo's crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Not on my level, bro. <clears throat> I'm I'm you know, I'm giving you alley oops. He's talking about this is gonna be debatable, yeah. Do you feel that do you feel upset that Saga performance low key got swept under the rug. It didn't get swept under the rug, man. It didn't get swept under the rug at all. A lot came from a lot came from that. That I became a powerhouse after that. Um, I went viral with the with the the Nick Merck shit. I, I you know I fucking talked to him. Nick Merck. Not, not like talk talk to him, but you know we chat every now and then like on Twitter and shit. Um. I got a lot of recognition from that from that battle, or at least like personal praise. You know what I mean? It's hard to it's hard to talk about that with people because you you guys aren't in like you're not in my DMs or like you're not always in my comment sections and stuff like that. So I could always see patterns. You know what I mean? I've been watching my social media, you know, fluctuate and see you know like like ratios and comments and stuff like that. You can kind of gauge. You could gauge the impact that your material makes and, and certain performances that you make by, you know, the interaction and clicks and stuff. And, and it got crazy after the saga battle for sure. I trended number one on Twitter, man, in the U S you know what I'm saying? Like my name was in number one on Twitter. Like that's you, you can't sweep that under the rug on any given day. You know what I mean? Even though battle rap is very like, you know, this generation is like that. Technology is like that. It's just, Something happens, and then by tomorrow, everyone moves on to the next. You know what I'm saying? So, in reality, I think everything gets swept under the rug. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's a lot of things that that people forget about, but it's more about just people moving on to the next, and it's not, you know, that you were necessarily forgettable. Nah, you can't sweep that under the rug.